Memoirs of a Goldfish by Devin Skillian and illustrated by Tim Bowers. Day one, I swam around my bowl. Day two, I swam around my bowl twice. Day three, I swam around my bowl. I thought about taking a nap, but fish don't sleep. So I swam around my bowl. Day four, I got some company today. I don't like the look of him one bit. He doesn't say anything. He just bubbles. Day five, Mr. Bubbles still hasn't said a word. He just looks at me. I said, hello today. And he said, he's creepy. Day six. Today, my bowl looks like a garden. There are a bunch of plants in here now. I guess I'll have to water them. Great. Day seven. Mr. Bubbles and I now have company. He's a snail. He says his name is Mervin, and he likes to eat the slime off the inside of the bowl. It's, it's disgusting. Day eight. Things are getting very crowded. While watering the plants, I met a crab named Fred. I offered him my fin, and he nearly cut it off. Even Mr. Bubbles is afraid of him. Fred says I should stay on my side of the bowl. Look, I said, the whole bowl is my side of the bowl. He snapped his claw, and Mervyn fainted. I gotta get out of here. Day nine. That does it. My bowl now contains a sunken pirate ship, two guppies named Rhoda and Clark, and an angelfish named Cha-Cha who says she's from Hollywood. I can't turn around without bumping into something. At least Mervyn is happy. There's more gunk on the side of the bowl every day. Day 10. This is ridiculous. I was trying to find room for a swim today when Rhoda and Clark told me they were going to have babies, Susan. They're like there's room for that. Fred knocked Mr. Bubbles over, and he became tangled in the plants. Chacha said she couldn't help with Mr. Bubbles, but needed me to apply her sunscreen. The sides of the bowl are covered in slime, and Mervyn says he's too full to eat anymore. Yuck. Day 11. I'm a nervous wreck, trying to avoid Fred. I turned around quickly this morning and came face to face with my reflection in a mirror. I nearly jumped out of my gills. I don't even look like myself anymore. I need to relax. Day 12. I've had it. Rhoda and Clark were racing around the bowl. Fred was fighting with Mr. Bubbles. Mervyn kept belching. And Chacha told me I was standing in her light. I just lost it. This is my bowl! I screamed. I want my bowl back! Day 13. Today, I got my wish. Sort of. With a whoosh and a splash and a clank and a plunge, I was suddenly in a very tiny bowl of pure, clean water. Ah. It was small, but it was all mine. It was heavenly. I swam around my new bowl. Twice. But I started to wonder, what happened to everyone? When I last saw Mr. Bubbles, he was tangled in green. Who would help him? Poor Mervyn was probably sick as a dogfish. He needs me. Chacha will get a sunburn without me around. And what about Rhoda and Clark? Did Rhoda have her baby guppies? There are probably a thousand of them. They need me to make guppy bottles and change guppy diapers. Even Fred needs me. I'm the only one who can really talk to the grabby guy. Have they even noticed I'm gone? Does anyone miss me? I started to cry, and that's not easy for fish to do. Day 14. After a long, sad night, there was a whoosh and a splash and a clank and a plunge, and I was suddenly sprayed in the face by Bubbles. Mr. Bubbles gurgled a happy tune. Rhoda and Clark raced by me like two speedboats, followed by 12 of the cutest baby guppies you've ever seen. Mervyn waved his tail at me, from the nice clean glass of our enormous tank, Cha-Cha sat happily beneath an umbrella. I think even Fred missed me. We were all back together, and I looked around and realized I was part of a big family. I guess I must have smiled because Clark said, You look happy. I wanted to see for myself. Where's the mirror? I asked. What mirror? Clark said. We don't have a mirror, said Fred. No mirror. No wonder I didn't look like myself. It wasn't me I was seeing. Her name is Gracie, 
and she's the color of a fresh tangerine. She's a Pisces, just like me. And today, we're gonna swim around the tank together. Twice. The end.